Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 1st of 2022, well, it is titled the solar system's planet trails. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image uh, taken from China. And what we're looking at is a number of trails in the sky. Now, when you take an image of the stars and follow along with the sky, tracking the motions of the sky, we get many of the images that we see here. And in that case, the images of the sky would remain stationary. And that's because you're moving the camera is being moved or the telescope is being moved to account for Earth's rotation and allows you to take that kind of image. However, you can also set up the camera without tracking and that means you're just taking the image and letting the sky move so things in the foreground would then stay unchanging and the sky would appear to move the objects in the sky. And that's why everything would appear to rise in the east and set in the west. It's a reflection of the Earth's motion, Earth's rotation from west to east. And here we see a number of those objects which are visible in the sky right now. And in fact, this was taken about a week ago. But you can still see all of these objects except of course, our moon which does move through the sky a lot faster than the others. Now they are labeled here for you and you can see off to the far left just barely off over the trees there in the distance the planet Mercury, Mercury, the hardest of the planets to see of the naked eye planets at least because it is so close to the sun and never strays far from the sun in the sky. So it's only visible sometimes like now right before sunrise and other times right after sunset. Now next to that we see the planet Venus and its trail. Uh, it is a much uh, brighter object. In fact, Venus is much brighter. It still can be seen only as a morning or evening star. But because it has a wider orbit, it can be seen at larger distances and makes it a lot easier to see. In addition, it is far brighter than Mercury, again, making it very easy to see. The next object up towards the top is the planet Uranus. Uranus was the first planet to actually be discovered since the other objects were known since ancient times. Uranus was the first to be discovered in the 1700s. Now, next to that, the brightest object that we're looking at here would be our moon. So the moon is a very, uh, very bright, in fact, the brightest object in the night sky, and the second brightest object in the sky after our sun. Next to the moon is the planet Mars, the red planet. And you can actually see a little bit of a reddish tinge to its uh, orbit, uh, to its path that it is making there. Uh, past Mars is Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, and again, relatively bright. And then finally, harder to see off to the upper uh, right hand side here, we see Neptune, very faint and hard to see. Again, the second planet to be discovered after Uranus discovered in the 1800s. And Saturn off to the very far right, just up in the corner there. And we can see the trail of the great ringed planet. So this is these are the planets that are currently visible in the morning sky right before sunrise and will be for a little while into uh, this month as Mercury will remain visible. Mercury will be the first of them to disappear as it has a very fast orbit and will quickly fade into the direction of our sun. So you have a chance again to see a number all of the planets here actually all of them uh, that are visible that are visible. Uh, the only two of course Uranus and Neptune do need some kind of aid to be able to see them as they really are too faint to be seen with the naked eye. So that was our picture of the day for July 1st of 2022. It was titled the solar systems planet trails. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be analemmas from a can. Well, so we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.